Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a repair on the. Um, we've got a George Foreman lean, green, mean, zingy, and fat reducing, grilling, whatever machine. So, this one don't work. I'll show you why. Much like I'll show you it not working. I don't know why it's not working. Plug in, switch on. That should light up. Don't know why it's working, not working, just kind of didn't one day. So I'm gonna have a go at trying to fix this. So yeah. Let's start with the obvious. See if we can get the plug off, see if it's the fuse that's blown. Right, tested with the multimeter, the fuse is fine. So every contact seem to be okay in there. Nothing loose. All screws seem tight. So that's the plug which kind of should be fine then. Next step, I don't know. I've never took one of these pieces before. The um, George Foreman, whatever it is. This model, we've had it for a little while. We don't, we don't use it that much anyway. It's the model 14525, 240 volts. Could be a case, there's a bump there in the cable. Could possibly be that, might not be. I'm trying to look on how this comes to pieces. <sighs> one screw there. Looks like there's a there's a foot missing off there. There's nothing to screw onto. So no, I don't know how this comes to pieces. You can do the clips on the side, that comes out. That has to move up and down a little bit so you can get a bigger chop on there or whatever. They come to the side and they come off. Same as the top, top plate comes off. So all we can start doing is, um, I wonder if. No, the light's not on. So there's a safety switch there for when you put the plate on so you don't hurt yourself or whatever yourself. Right there, so let's get stripping. See if I can find what is wrong with this. Like I said, I don't really know where to start. I mean, that's hanging off. One side of the uh, plastics fell off on there. Might be inside, not to glue it on. We'll see what we can do. Right, got into the grill itself. What we have to do is re release the Phillips screws, the posi drive screws, which are six on each side, two, two, two. You don't have to bother with this one just yet. However, if you take the top plate down, looks like you've got your thermostat, power coming in, don't worry, it's not plugged in. Power coming up through on here, the light cables as these two on here. So this will obviously go up to round the element, heating the plate up, and then regulated by the thermostat. Which is fine that side. Well, I wouldn't say fine as in it's working, but fine as in there's not much of an issue. But this one, the bottom side with the switch on it, you can't really get it up much because of all your cables. So, to show you, looks like what you have to do is take these two cables off, possibly the, that earth as well, try and get everything out. Now, there's only one thermostat on here. The cables come up through the bottom from the power power cable underneath and then are shipped out. Why are there two onto this corner? That's for a switch down there. <sighs> Let me just try something. That's all back together. Sort of. I haven't actually tried the switch. <sighs> this should be okay to turn on. Okay. I wonder if that's working. Yeah, that's working. 
So, in a recap, don't be a buffoon. Check, there's a switch. So, back together again. All your, everything's back in place. Your screws are all the way around on both sides. Just a word of warning, if you're going to do this yourself, that's drying because it's snapped off in the corner there. That should be fine. When you get down to the bottom here, still unplugged, is when you take this plate off the bottom, there is two screws holding this corner in. Just be careful because you don't see them underneath this plate here. So, um, yeah, and I broke all that side off. That'll need a little bit of a attention getting around to it. So, anyway, don't be a buffoon when you're doing your own retro tech. Make sure there's a yeah. Uh, there's a, a simple solution before you strip things down. So, there you go. Thanks for that. I've got branding points for this, for actually fixing this. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.